Now we proceed to study uh, problem number 3 and isometric 1. The problem says goes like this. A hemisphere diameter 70 mm is placed on the ground on its curved surface. A cone base diameter, a cone base diameter 70 mm and height 70 mm is placed on it. Draw the isometric position of the combination. Please observe carefully the dimensions are same and it coincides. Hemisphere, the ball is cut half the sphere, hemisphere. 70 mm diameter 70 is placed on the ground with its curved surface, that bottom curved surface is placed. A cone of base diameter, this is also 70 mm diameter. So both the diameters coincides. I just drawn here the top view front of the situation. So I drawn here hemisphere. I have drawn here a hemisphere, 35 mm radius, 70 mm diameter. A cone happens to coincide. Taken the height 70 mm and draw the cone. This is the front view. I drawn the front view, and this can be a top view. I just drawn the axis top view. So front view you can just see here a cone. Uh, it is resting on a hemisphere. That is both the diameters are same. 70 mm, 70 mm diameter. Top you will have only a circle. Top you will have only a circle. How to draw this situation in the isometric projection? If you have a ball, when the ball is cut, the cut portion will uh, appear like a circle. Whether you cut in the middle or somewhere, or somewhere in between, the cut portion will appear like a circle. So this portion, the circle will appear like an ellipse now. The, it will become ellipse. And bottom you have a hemisphere. Same thing I am going to explain to you again with the ISO sheet. The entire problem will be explained to you with the ISO sheet. Very simple it is. Hemisphere, hemisphere, 70 mm in diameter. You draw here, instead because we want the bottom reference, bottom reference we want. Draw here a 70 mm box, 70 mm right hand side, 70 mm left hand side. Again, complete the box, 70 mm, 70 mm box it is completed in this manner. Now, you take the height, this is 35 mm. From here to here you take the 35 mm. You take 10, 20, 30, 35 mm. Again, repeat the 70 mm box. Take 7, 35 mm, repeat 70 mm, 70 mm box, repeat again there. 70 mm, 70 mm box, repeat here. So this is 35 millimeter I have taken, 35 mm, all isometric. This is ISO 70. This is ISO 35, ISO 70, this is also ISO 70. ISO 70. Now, the ball is cut. That means you must have as you must have here the ellipse. You should consider the ellipse in this in this uh, 70 mm. So you adopt what again what is called as what is called as um, the four arc method. Adopt the four arc method and prepare the ellipse. Adopt four arc method and draw here the ellipse. So you get the ellipse here by four arc method. Get the ellipse here by four arc method. Draw here the ellipse by four arc method in 70 mm box. In 70 mm box, you draw the ellipse by four arc method. That is an ellipse drawn. Now, the ball hemisphere bottom portion is the same. So, with the same center, the same center, actual 35 radius, you draw the circle. Actual 35 mm radius, you draw the bottom circle hemisphere the bottom sphere bottom sphere now i have drawn the hemisphere that is top cut portion is the 70 mm dia ellipse this is 35 mm actually are drawn from the center you measure 70 mm height cone center to i gave a height i have given instructions you should always measure from the center of the base for the cone in the pyramid so you measure from here one two three four Five, six, seven. That is the center point. Eh? From there you can draw tangents to the base ellipse. From there you can draw tangents to the base ellipse. You can draw here tangent to base ellipse. You can draw here tangent to base ellipse. That is the that is going to be final answer. Now we have here the cone drawing. I'm just drawing it. 
tangent to base ellipse the cone outer portion of the ellipse, outer portion of the ellipse is visible uh, that is an ellipse i made the ellipse in the box of 70 mm 70 mm that the center control the axis you control the axis and sphere with this is center actual radius it goes beyond the starting point you can make out it very clearly it goes beyond the starting point it goes beyond the starting point starting point here it goes beyond because from here actual radius is bigger is bigger than the iso radius 35 mm so with this center 35 mm actual radius you draw the bottom portion of the hemisphere bottom of the hemisphere and of course this is a dotted line many a times i told i'll tell you avoid the dotted lines you can avoid but for a look you know if sometimes you can draw there is no problem so i repeat a simple procedure 70 mm 70 mm box 35 mm height 70 mm 70 mm box i got the ellipse locate the center 70 mm height then with this center 35 mm actual radius you draw the bottom portion of the sphere hemisphere that's the final answer to the present problem that's the final answer for the you can just see i uh, given here the orthographic projection the orthographic projection and i have drawn here the answer with use the iso scale by using the iso scale i have given the answer